Hey everybody, welcome to Southern California. I'm Phil Friedman from Friedman Adventures. First thing I want to do is thank each and every one of you for making us so strong. We've almost reached 1 million views combined with Spotify and Apple Podcasts and YouTube, and we owe it all to you. Thank you so very much. This is the pregame preview forecast of the Albacore update for Southern California and Baja. So, we're not sure whether we're going to have albacore this year or not. And last year I did make a prediction, so this year I'm going to do the same thing. Last year we had similar conditions to what we have right now. In other words, we had a La Nina brewing with some models suggesting that we would keep that La Nina, which means cooler water, and other models saying that we would be neutral. Well, it turned out to be neutral, and as you well know, that didn't turn out all that great for our albacore season. In fact, there was one albacore that we found caught on the new low end. When Sean Hardigan, the captain of the Mission Bell, snapped that photo on the docks and sent it to me, I said, here we go, man, we're off to the races. The Albi are back. And shortly thereafter, I had people catcalling me in parking lots, yelling out, Phil, where are the albacore? So needless to say, it turned into a bust last year and it didn't really manifest itself at all. But this year, who knows? It's way too early, even though it looks like summertime. It's actually February here. It's 80 degrees at the beach. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. And while that might suggest some warming in some people's minds, the models right now are pretty similar to what they were last year. Now that might lead you to say, okay, sounds like another bust, but let me just delve into this a little bit more with you. First of all, one model is suggesting that, and it's a model that we prefer, that we are going to have a La Nina. Now, if we have a La Nina, we will catch some albacore, okay? We should catch some albacore. We will catch some albacore. I'm going to have to jump off the docks at 20 seconds later, come up with something that I have to do if we don't catch albacore. But that is all contingent on the oceanography. In other words, the water's got to stay cool. We've got to have an ample supply of bait around, preferably anchovy. If all of that comes together, we've got a really good shot at this. However, if the neutral models hold, as they did last year, then we're probably not going to catch any albacore. And it's way too early to really determine which way it's going to go. We're going to come to that fork in the road again, and it's either going to warm too much for albacore, or it's going to stay cool and be that water temp that albacore like. I can still remember being up in the wheelhouse of the searcher as a kid looking at Frank Lopreste and him looking down, looking at the temperature gauge, and it was 63.5 degrees, and he said, perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. So albacore, long fin tuna, prefer that cooler water, and it's all about the oceanography. Now, something else that we can factor into all of this. Once again, it's just a clue. It doesn't necessarily indicate anything for sure. But the biomass of market squid that was once up there off Monterey, or I should say last year up there off Monterey, has moved down, and now the Channel Islands are the central area for the market squid. Market squid prefer cooler water, just like albacore. They kind of go hand in hand. So the fact that that squid has moved down this way has our fingers crossed that maybe that albacore could move down and there won't be that warm water block that there was last year up to the north that seemed to block those albies out of here. So for right now, what we're looking at is a situation where some models are predicting a La Nina, which is what we need, cooler water. Some other models are predicting the neutral kind of situation, which would spell not much albacore. In any case, We'll continue to watch this for you very, very closely. And then in April, we'll come back with the official Friedman Adventures albacore forecast. And you know what that's worth. Well, hopefully this year, we're going to nail it. Again, it's very dicey which way this thing goes. You come to that fork in the road in terms of oceanography, water temperature. And if we go to the right side of it, the cooler water, the La Nina, we've got a very good shot at Longfin for 2022. Only time will tell and Friedman Adventures will be on top of it for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining us and stay tuned throughout the year right here on our YouTube channel, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitchers. We'll have it all for you all year long. Take care, hey, my, my friends. friends. I want to tell you about a couple of great local boats to jump on this season 
out of Ventura Sport Fishing. Number one, we've got the half day boat, California. The California is an outstanding fishing vessel. In fact, many of you fished on it before when it was called the Matt Wall. She's a beautiful platform and she's plying the waters of the Channel Islands for great rockfish, halibut, white sea bass, calico and sand bass, and so much more. Great fishing boat and they do have some specials where kids can go free. So keep your eye open for those specials. Also, we've got the three quarter day boat, Island Spirit also out but they have a little bit better range they can fish a little bit further from home but catching a variety of fish and both are so great in terms of customer service they catch lots of fish you always have a really positive experience they're perfect for kids and perfect for the family i can't recommend the island spirit and the california more than i am right now you can get a hold of ventura sport fishing by calling 805-676 3474 or you can just go to VenturaSportFishing.com. Jump on one of those local boats this year and have the time of your life.